All right, we have a lot of connections to go through here. I have some USB cables, some RCA cables, and a small little interface right here. This is the Behringer U-Control UCA202. So you'll see me use this interface through this tutorial. I'm just getting the analog signal out of this mixer board and converting it to USB. This is the one of the one of the many devices I know of that does this, but I've used these for a long time and they work really well and I, I trust them. So check out the Behringer U control in the description. Okay, so first off, number one, how do we get our first smartphone uh, audio from our PV mixer? And it's really simple. I've already done it. I have a nice USB printer cable here and notice the square end on it. And I'll show you here. And I'm gonna plug that in back of the mixer board. And now all I need to do is just get the corresponding adapter. I'll be using an iPhone 10, and this would take the USB connection and make it a lightning connection. And that goes straight into my smartphone, just like that. So here's my first phone connected. So we got one down, three more, two more to go. <laughs> okay, all right, that's good progress. All right, we got one phone down, another one to go. For this connection, I'm gonna be using the control room output here on the PV mixer board. I'm gonna use output A just to keep it simple. And there is a toggle button, so if you wanna to toggle between two kinds of outputs, you could do that. And there's also a level knob here to adjust. I'm just gonna keep it right at unity gain. And if you have a stereo RCA cable, take it out right now, and this is the time to use it. I'm gonna plug this in, input A, or output A. Okay, make sure that goes in good. Now I'm gonna get my Behringer U-Control UCA202 interface. As you can see, uh, has RCA inputs, and I'm just gonna get the other end of my RCA cable and plug it in the input of the Behringer U-Control. Simple as that. And now look, I have my other connection here. Now all I need to do is get the correct corresponding adapter, which it's the same kind since I'm using my iPhone 10 still. There it is, right there. That's what I'm gonna be using. And once again, it will go in the iPhone 10, the second iPhone 10. And then there you have it. Now another way to take audio out of the PV mixer is to do it by taking the direct out here. So you're gonna need your Hosa quarter inch to RCA cable for this. And you see there's the direct out jack here. It's only taking the signal from the preamp point. So right here is my gain. It's not gonna take the EQ or any panning or effects that I'm putting on. So that may be a deal breaker for some of you, but if you just want a pure signal uh, without any EQ or effects, you may wanna use that as an alternate output. Okay, and now after we've done that, it's very simple. You would just take the other end of the cable, which is the RCA, and plug it into the inputs here. And that's how you have your next input. So just use the corresponding adapter and just plug it into your iPhone. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm gonna do another output here. It's just basically taking out of the main outs. So it would be right here. Simple as that. Once again, quarter inch to RCA into my Behringer interface. And that would be my next iPhone that's plugged in. And the main out is getting you all the processing here that you will do with your EQ and your panning and effects and your compression. It'll all come out there. So that's a very good way to get audio out of this mixer board. So for the last output you could take advantage of is the headphone jack. Now it's kind of unconventional. I wouldn't recommend doing this because sometimes the impedance is different uh, with the output of the headphone. But you could try it and see if it works. So what I'm doing now is I have a eighth inch 
to RCA stereo cable and I'm going to be using this. All I have to do is get a mini to quarter inch adapter that goes on like that and I'm plugging it into the headphone jack. And now here's my gain knob which is the headphone level and now I'm just plugging it into the Behringer U control. And there we go. That is the fourth way to get audio out of the PVPV6 mixer board. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And also, I have two videos up here. So if you want to know how to properly gain stage your mixer board audio going into your smartphone, check out that video. And also, if you want to take the audio out from your audio interface, I have another video there for you too. If you want a more in-depth analysis and breakdown of this, I have a mini course, so all you have to do is sign up on my email list and you get access to some more in-depth material. So thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.